This footage was captured a few days ago off Galway in Ireland by two fishermen, John McGloin and Jao Rosser, and it's been claimed that this is the first ever confirmed great white shark in UK waters. The two were out fishing together and one of them had a fish on the line when they spotted a fin heading towards their direction and as quickly as they could, they grabbed their phone to try and record the encounter. The shark in question was reportedly incredibly curious, circling the boat for a good few minutes before heading off out into the deep. Others have reported seeing fins in the last few days and weeks around the Galway area, most in between Spadal and the Aran Islands. Now, I've got to be honest with you all, the footage that we've got available to us at the moment is average at best. It's only 10 seconds long and is pretty blurry. I'm always begging for people to have non-blurry footage of stuff like this, but we can get a bit of an appreciation of the size of it. It looks to be a good couple of meters long, perhaps even slightly closer to three meters long. We can compare it to the outboard motor of the boat and the person filming or taking pictures with a second phone. So straight away, looking at this clip, it's not a massive shark, but for it to be a great white, it doesn't have to be massive. The potential for it being a juvenile is of course still there. Let's take a look first though at what it definitely isn't. I'm sure people online are going to point to it potentially being a poor beagle shark, but if we take a still from right at the start of the video, it's definitely not a poor beagle. The fin morphology isn't quite right, and importantly, it's not got that small whitish patch at the base of the dorsal fin that is seen in poor beagle sharks. It's definitely not a basking shark, we know that for sure. Fin morphology again isn't right, the size isn't quite right, and and the coloration isn't right either. If it was a basking shark, it would be a juvenile, and the front of the nose for me just doesn't look like how it would look on a juvenile basking shark. Another shark it could have been might have been a taupe shark. Now, I've spoken to a few specialists today, and some have suggested that this could be a particularly large taupe shark. Yes, they can get pretty big. Specifically here, they're looking at the distinctive large terminal lobe on that caudal fin, which is a feature common to topes. And then also they're looking at the size of the head, which they believe here to not quite be bulky enough for a white shark. To be fair, I can see their points, although personally I'm still not 100% buying into tope from this footage alone. And so we get to the final two candidates. Is this a short fin mako shark? So the best way for us to differentiate between makos and great whites are the teeth, but we've got no angle here for us to see the teeth. Mako teeth would be pointed and likely poking out the mouth. The eye as well would be another big clue. Makos have a pretty enormous black eye, definitely bigger than a white shark's in comparison to the size of its body. But again, from this footage, we can't see that eye very well, if at all. I would say perhaps not being able to see the eye might suggest that the eye on this shark is smaller. Size-wise though, it's not out of the question to get a mako shark that's coming in around two to three meters. This part of Ireland has had some big mako sharks down the years, so when we're looking at the size of this particular shark, it's easily capable of being the right size for a mako. It would also pair up quite well with the mackerel season, which peaks in July for Ireland, and makos have been well documented following those mackerel. When mackerel season's in full swing, you're definitely going to get makos as well. What we can see though from this section of the footage is that there's another person filming. Whether this was one of the two fishermen, John or Jao, I'm not sure. But that phone camera angle there looks like it's just a little bit closer and could perhaps show some more identifying features like the eye or maybe the teeth. If we could get hold of that camera angle, I'd be able to provide you guys with some more insight into this shark. Having a look at some conditions then, the sea surface temperature for Galway right now is hovering at around 12 to 14 degrees Celsius and has been hovering around that temperature for the last month or so, which is of course is within the temperature tolerable range for white sharks. It's towards the colder end of the scale, but it's still within it for sure. My biggest gripe with this whole thing at the moment though is that the video is really short. It's 10 seconds long and it's not great quality either. Why is it that when people get video of this type of thing happening, it's always dreadful quality. That's a phone? The thing here is, if this shark had been swimming around the boat for a few minutes like the fishermen have said, where is the rest of that footage? We need to see that footage that's either side of those 10 seconds. There's no way they just filmed for 10 seconds and that was it. There's got to be some more footage out there. You also have to ask yourselves the question, why is the fisherman only sent across those 10 seconds? It's clearly cropped down. Now, is that because that slightly before or slightly after, we get a much better angle that clears up the ID entirely and proves it actually isn't a white shark. That footage is going to be so important when it comes to identifying this animal and it's going to provide us with some more definitive information. I can't be 100% sure of the ID for this shark because of the lack of that footage and the angles that we've seen so far. We're also presuming here at this point in time that the video has indeed been taken in Galway Island. We know from the past that people have taken pictures or videos of great whites and then tried to pass them off as being from the UK when in reality the videos maybe been taken in South Africa or somewhere 
somewhere similar. People do like to play pranks and make up hoaxes to try and generate media coverage and get clicks. A fisherman from Nuki made up a hoax just like that back in 2007, and a lot of people at the time bought it. The newspaper that's reported on this as well, the Galway Bio, doesn't really seem a massively reputable source of information as well, so lots of people have cast a bit of doubt on their reliability. The main thing here is we're after cold, hard confirmation. In science terms, it either is or isn't a great white shark. There's no ifs, buts, and maybes in science. We can either categorically say, yes, it is a white shark, and if we can't do that, then the answer has to be no. I know people out there don't like uncertainty and ambiguity with this stuff, but that's what we always seem to get with footage like this. There's never that cold, hard, definitive feature that's been spotted that totally confirms it. If you're asking me to lean a certain way, I'd probably lean towards a white shark, but that's because I want it to be a white shark. Based on this evidence right here though, I honestly can't say, so I'd make a plea to the fisherman in question, please show us that extra footage which we know is out there. Like I said, I can't be 100% sure, but there's something about that still frame at the start of the footage that looks like a young great white to me. I don't want to fan these flames just yet though because like I've said I want to see that extra bit of footage with the different angles. I have spoken to Paul Cox at the Shark Trust and he and his team there are making some further inquiries. But when I did speak to him on the phone and showed him the footage it was ambiguous enough for them to at least explore it in further detail. I have to say here this could be an incredibly exciting thing for us here in the UK. If it does turn out to be true and that's a big if the newspapers are going to go absolutely mad with it. To be honest, they're probably already writing their articles as we speak. To be honest, it doesn't matter if it's a white shark or not. The media will have already made their mind up on this without asking for that additional footage. You're going to see a lot of pretty awful scaremongering across the internet. You're going to get a lot of articles trying to warn swimmers and people suggesting to close the beaches, but it's all nonsense. If this shark is the size that I think it might be, i.e. two to three meters, and if it is a great white shark, then at this size, it's not even predominantly eating marine mammals yet. It's mostly feeding on fish. This story here though, if confirmed, is anything but scary. It would be incredibly exciting for us to finally have a confirmed white shark in our waters. Something that's been speculated on for many, many years, but just never been categorically proved. I should stress as well here, guys, that one white shark does not mean we've got a big old population of white sharks living in the UK. These sharks are nomadic traveling sharks that swim huge distances across the ocean, even the young ones. And this one could literally be a single individual that's just popped into our waters for a bit of rest and relaxation. I can't stress enough though how exciting this could possibly be, potentially the first ever confirmed white sharks in our waters. What a time to be alive. Remember though guys, it's always important to think critically here. There are lots of factors that I've spoken to you guys about today that cast a little bit of doubt here, hence why it can't be confirmed. The short length of the video, the quality of the video, and perhaps a not quite confirmed location as well. These are all things that you have to consider when you're coming to conclusions about this footage. We've had clips like this before where it's just too ambiguous to categorically say yes, Yes, what we're seeing here is definitely a white shark. I've reached out to one of those fishermen, Jow, to see if I can get my hands on that extra camera angle that you're seeing there. As of currently, I've had no reply, but if I do, you can be sure you'll hear all about it right here on Shark Bites. I'm super interested to hear what all you guys think about this. Is this the first confirmed white shark in our waters? To me, it looks like it potentially could be. Maybe. I really do want to hear all your thoughts though, so please, please do comment what you think below. If you're after some more content about great white sharks though, then you might quite like this video right here. In it, I have a look at the top five most credible great white shark sightings in the UK. There's a photograph in this video that does kind of look like a great white shark and the story surrounding it is absolutely wild, but I'm going to let you guys make up your own minds. So make sure you check it out here.